Good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of me online shopping again. Uh, don't mind the bubbles that you hear in the background. That's just going to be my fish tank that I set up, and I'm sitting a little bit close to it. Um, as you saw in my other video, I, I had spoken about getting a book bag for school or a backpack for school. Um, I finally made the jump. I ended up not going with Diesel. Instead, I went with this new company from uh, that just started a Kickstarter or that I found on Kickstarter, I should say, called Vank. Uh, I'll see if I can find their uh, if I can find them on Kickstarter. But they're a Canadian-based company, and basically, what they're known for doing or what they started doing was just making high quality bags with some leather and they, they say that they uh, use this new material where it's uh, it's water resistant and so far I've tried it and it's it's extremely resistant inside and out uh, it's the only thing is that I didn't order it directly from vank.com I ended up ordering from this website called uh, touch of modern it took almost two months to arrive which is unacceptable on my standards, but I did receive the bag eventually. I believe it cost uh, $79. I got it for a slightly lower price on uh, touchofmodern.com, uh, but I ended up getting the uh, Black Classic, which I'll go to their website and you can see. So this is the one that I ended up getting. The bag is structured. It's built really well. It's extremely comfortable. It's padded on the back in a V shape. Uh, it, the straps are extremely comfortable. They're contoured slightly so they go around your shoulders and they don't, they're not that tight. Um, that's really what I love about the entire backpack is that it's clean lines, it's simple, uh, and the zipper is awesome. I, usually zippers jam up, or if you pull it too fast, or if you don't put it in the right direction, they jam up. And But this zipper is actually really smooth. It's extremely easy to open with just one hand. I just slide up and over and down, and vice versa to close. Um, one thing I did notice when I did receive the backpack eventually was that it, if any of you guys have ever gone to, say, like New York City, Chinatown, for example, and you've, you look, maybe it's just me, but I tend to smell products that, you know, that have leather. I, um, when I received the bag, and I'm not sure if it was the packaging that it came in, it just smelled like cheap knockoff uh, Chinatown you know knockoff leather um, which completely threw me off it, this and it wasn't just like a little bit of a smell maybe because of the plastic packaging it was an intense smell so I I had to leave the bag open and out in the air so it could air out a little bit just because it smelled Either it was at the factory or the chemicals that they used to finish the bag, whatever it was. But the, the smell was very strong. Um, after a few days, I, I was going to go ahead and start using the bag and it still smelled. So I ended up having to put a few dryer sheets in there. And little by little, the, the smell has gone away. Um, in terms of the bag itself, the quality of the build is it, it's pretty nice. I would give it maybe a... A six and a half seven out of ten only reason being is that even as you can see on the website they have maybe right here it shows uh, in this little area like a, a thread sticking out I encountered that same problem uh, the the finish is great like the hardware that they have for the straps is great the zipper is great the stitching is fine, but then you get to the leather itself, and I I did read on their website that they use real leather, but I'm not sure if it's the if it's the finishing process that they or the tanning process that's on the leather. But for some reason, it just feels like 
when you look at the bag itself, it, it looks almost like plastic, whether it's plastic coated or there's something, uh, there's some type of finish that I'm not familiar with that it just doesn't look like raw leather, whether it's vegetable tanned or even if it's dyed, it does not look like, like a natural leather for some reason. It looks like there's some type of protective layer on the top of it. Um, hopefully with time it does wear a little bit and it does get a patina. If it does not patina, then, you know, I'll give an update on that. Uh, the, the interior compartment is, it's really well organized. It has, when you first open up the, the bag, it has a small zipper, uh, or zipper compartment towards the front of the bag. Uh, the area inside is very large actually I can fit several sweaters and a pair of jeans and even some shoes in there and then it has two smaller elastic pockets one where I keep a few documents and then the back one where I keep my MacBook just because that's the one with the padding um, and as I said I, I did try to use uh, or like drop some water in there just to check the uh, water resistance or or the uh, water repellent uh, feature that it has and it, the water literally stayed on top of the bag and it did absolutely nothing to the material itself, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so they, they definitely came through with their, uh, with their quanta fabric as they call it. Uh, as far as again, the leather itself, it, it might look really nice on their website, but uh, I'm just definitely not, I'm not feeling the leather. Uh, again, maybe it'll change with time. Uh, another thing that I did notice is that the zipper pulls themselves, not the zipper, but the pulls themselves, they they seem to be like a slightly different type of leather. Uh, those really look like completely fake leather. <laughs> so that, that, that was one of my complaints. Um, the bag itself, when you open it up, it actually has like this base shaper just because, as I did mention in the beginning, it is a structured bag, but due to that base shaper. If you did not have that base shaper that it does include, uh, it would be very slouchy. It'd be a very slouchy bag, which it, you know, some people might like that, that uh, look. I prefer something that's a little more structured and has a, a fixed shape. Um, they do offer it in a few different colors. I'm not sure why they didn't just put them all on one page. Uh, there's brown, gray, and of course the one that you had seen previously, uh, black. Um, out of the three, I do like the black the most. I am starting to warm up, or the, the gray one does look a little bit nicer. The only thing that threw me off was the interior. I didn't really like that honey-looking color. I, I just didn't understand why they would put a light color inside a bag that someone plans to use so much. Um, but of course, the you know it's a new company, so I'm not really giving them too much gripe. Uh, one thing that I did love is that they, their warranty for this bag is actually protected for 10 years. It literally says, if anything goes wrong with your bag within 10 years, send it back to us and we'll basically either fix it or replace it, which is, is amazing to me. Um, not many companies that I know do that. I do know some like, uh, like Coach, for example, or Louis Vuitton also do that. Uh, but again, those are high and well-established companies. So the fact that you know, this startup company that just came out is able to do that is is awesome to me. Um, so that's pretty much it for this one. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any requests, same thing, send me a message, comment, and uh, hopefully we'll have something else soon.